We have a few speakers that are going to be talking about vision. That's our principal theme for today. And there's going to be a question posed to each of you at the end of this uh, program. We're going to ask you to share with us what your vision is for McAllen, knowing that the McAllen Economic Development Corporation will fulfill on its vision for the next 25 years. What would McAllen look like 25 years from now? Be thinking of a small statement. It could be everyone educated. It could be everyone has a high paying job. We want to have you share that with us. So be thinking about that at the very end of our program. We'll ask you all to share that. And speaking of someone who has a clear vision, as he stated it at the State of the City event, Houston by day, it was uh, Vegas by night, Disney on weekends, our mayor, Jim Darling. Mayor? Thank you, Brian, and uh, good morning. And I'm still trying to get over uh, Vegas so during the, at night last night. But anyways, the jacuzzi will come in handy. But you know, um, this is a great event, and I've been around a long time. And remember when we kind of did the conversion of MEDC and changed the, uh, changed the emphasis from local kind of things to manufacturing and, and, and focused on Renosa and how important that was. And, and I'm always proud, we have a lot of congressmen and senators come down to visit us in our area, especially the hospital, and I always talk about what's going on in relationship. I say you can't build a car in Detroit, Michigan without what's going on in Renosa. And honest to God, 95% of them have no idea what I'm talking about. And so, you know, one of the things I talked about in, on vision is, is uh, using the B's, uh, the B words to come up with um, how we, our, how we could be successful in those areas. And one was boast, and part of it's boasting and letting the rest of the country know the great things that are happening here. Um, I grew up in Rochester, New York, where Eastman Kodak employed 60,000 people in the city. Literally, literally, traffic lights were synchronized with the Kodak workers getting out of work, and that's how important that business was. That business now has less than 10,000, so that, that kind of changed, but what, what, what I remember is how important it was when you got out of school, you had a job in those sectors. We had Kodak, Xerox, Bausch and Lam, and all those, and you didn't worry about a job because there were jobs waiting for you. And that's kind of what I think is part of our vision here now, is for when kids uh, get out of high school, get out of South Texas College, get out of the new university, no matter what they do, they're well trained and a job will be waiting for them. And that's kind of the vision that I think um, that I share with the MEDC board, and that's a very exciting um, time uh, for me. The other one that you, I want to talk about is borrowing, and that's from the past, to take a look at the successes that we had in the past. And if you go to Renosa and if you go to the foreign trade zone, you can see the successes we had in the past, and we should never forget how that happens to build a vision in the future. And so I think we have a very sound base um, for that to go forward uh, in the future. You know, I'll tell you how important MEDC has been to, to us in our area. Uh, we are trying to get our bond rating raised, and we couldn't. We met every requirement with one exception, and that was the unemployment rate. And that didn't relate to McAllen, it related to Hidalgo County. And as long as Hidalgo County was above the state and national average, no matter what the city of McAllen did, uh, it didn't matter. We were going to stay at AA plus rated. We couldn't, couldn't get AAA rated. And it made me realize how important MEDC is and other things that we do in McAllen as a region, that we try and try to improve the region because we're all in this together. And that was a great example of how important and how exactly we are together because we can't even control our own fate in our city without what's happening in the region. And so I talked to the city of fire and I said, you know who puts trucks on your bridge? MEDC does because of what they do in Mexico and the manufacturing. That's who really city of McAllen's been doing for the last 15 years is putting trucks on your bridge. And it's important to us as a region to make sure that we develop not only what, we hap what happens in McAllen, but affects our region. So MEDC, I think, is, is valuable not only to the city of McAllen, but certainly to our region, certainly to Hidalgo County and beyond, certainly in Mexico, and they've done a great job. And so I'm excited about their next 25 years. And uh, I've been here 34 years, I think, and I'm looking forward to the next 25 years working with you guys. And so they, it's, they uh, certainly have a great vision. They've had a great past. I'm looking forward. It's going to be an exciting time. 
And having said that now, I get to introduce our CEO and President Keith Patridge who's going to of MEDC who's going to share the new mission statement, the new vision, the exciting times in the next 25 years that we're all going to enjoy through MEDC's leaderships and efforts. Keith? You know, there's very, very few of us, I guess, around that remembers back 26 years ago, although I do see a lot in the crowd that, of, of familiar faces from when we started 26 years ago. And uh, I really would like to thank all of you for coming here uh, this evening or this morning. Uh, former Commissioner Phyllis Griggs is back there. I haven't seen Phyllis for a long time. Phyllis? Dee Trevino with the McAllen Independent School District. Dee used to, uh, we used to call her and say, we have a family in town, they want to see the schools. And she would be right there to take them through to show the best of what we had in the, in the uh, school system because it's all a team effort. I remember the mayor when he was the, the city attorney and he would crank out incentive packages for us working with Mayor Othelbrand. He would be, uh, he was really provided the leadership as the city attorney uh, to help us be successful with our efforts. Then he became city commissioner and again he supported us all every step of the way and now as mayor uh, I want you to know how much I appreciate your support over all those years and we look forward to working with you another 26 years too. Uh, before we get started on behalf of the board and uh, staff of McAllen Economic Development I'd like to thank all of you for being here. All of you have been responsible for our success. I kind of see MEDC as much like the quarterback on a football team. We can't score a point without the cooperation and support of the line. And you're the line. You're the ones that when we call, oftentimes on a spur of the moment, needing information, needing assistance, you all unselfishly give of your time without asking anything, no questions, no complaints, you're just there to support us. And so I want to recognize all of you that are here and all those that couldn't be here today because they're working at jobs that maybe 26 years ago they didn't have or 20 years ago they didn't have. And all of that is extremely important to us. I'd also like to recognize those here in the audience that are with us. Uh, the, um, uh, of course, we have the mayor uh, from Reynosa. We have Omar Elizondo, my counterpart, the economic development. Omar, where you, there we go, right here. <laughs> Reynosa is extremely important. When we started 26 years ago, we were given the charge of putting the foreign trade zone into black, improving relations with Mexico, and diversifying the economy in McAllen, Texas. That was our marching orders. That was given to us by uh, the mayor and city commission at that time. And there were two people, one that, that really passed before his time, uh, Mike Allen and I. Mike started the organization actually 27 years ago. I joined him shortly after. And I remember sitting in the conference room over in the, uh, uh, in the International Bank building and we asked a simple question, why would anyone want to invest in McAllen, Texas? And 26 years ago, this was a much different place. 26 years ago, the unemployment rate in Hildago County was in the 26-27% range. In Starr County, it was approaching 60%. We had just gone through some substantial peso devaluations in Mexico. Uh, the peso was de devaluing at about 50 centavos a day. Projects and the, kind of the, one of the key um, uh, legs on our economic stool here in McAllen was retail wholesale trade with Mexi Mexico. It was down on its knees. A second part of our economy was really based on agriculture. 
And if you remember, that was a period when we had two severe freezes within a, a period of just a few years that took out many of the orange groves, the, the, uh, the winter crops, and put agriculture in a very, very dismal situation. And then we had the winter Texans. And the winter Texans are a very important part of our, our development, but as far as growing or sustaining the growth of the community, it wouldn't do it. And so the leadership of McAllen, really, uh, as it always has, as long as McAllen has been around and as long as I've been around, said we have to roll up our sleeves and do something about it. And they created MEDC. And they brought in a former Catholic priest, a guy who used to say that he was the only one that he knew of that had been fired by a pope and a governor. And they brought in a, uh, and they brought in a former manufacturing guy and they said, go do economic development. And we answered that question, we asked that question, why would anyone want to invest in McAllen, Texas? And at that time, with the peso devaluation and the economy in Mexico, we saw an opportunity for manufacturing. We saw an opportunity for those companies in the United States that was trying to figure out how to compete with the China of the day, Taiwan, Korea, Hong Kong, and Singapore, on how do they compete effectively to continue to grow and to build market share and succeed. And so we went out, we went to our, uh, we went, I first went to the mayor of uh, Reynosa, a big uh, gentleman by the name of Ernesto Gomez Lida. And, er, and we said, we want to be your economic development organization for the city of Reynosa. And he said, okay. We came back, we talked to Mayor Brand and the city commission and said, we want to spend our time recruiting companies to Reynosa, Mexico. Because if we bring companies into Reynosa, Mexico, we're going to create jobs on the U.S. side. We're going to bring families into the U.S. side. We're going to grow our community. We're going to bring suppliers into the U.S. side. And we think this is what's going to cause McAllen to grow. Now remember at that time, we didn't really have good air service at the airport. The mayor was, was, uh, helped us uh, recruit American Airlines shortly after we, we started as, a, as McAllen Economic Development. Oh, and by the way, getting into the valley, into the McAllen, I don't know how many of you remember, but 281 north of Alice was almost all two-lane highway. And you had to drive through Alice to get there. That was one of our first projects that we took on was to get 281 upgraded to a four-lane highway all the way. So we really took a, an approach of we were going to develop our community. We were going to fulfill the, 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 uh, the, the instructions of the city commission, the mayor, and the leadership of McAllen to diversify our economy, to uh, improve relations with Mexico, and to put the foreign trade zone into black. And so during that time, we kept looking for everything that we needed to do. When we had an obstacle, we figured out a way to knock it out of its way, out of the way to continue to grow. And during that 26 years, we have recruited over 657 companies that have created over 153,000 jobs. That's 153,000. This is for you, it's not us. We're the quarterback, remember, okay? Uh, this is, these are 153,000 families that have been impacted on both sides of the border, in McAllen and Reynosa, because we're one community that happens to have a river running through the middle of it. It just so happens ours is an international border. But it does not stop the flow of commerce, it does not stop the flow of families, it does not stop the flow of commerce back and forth across the river. And we all have to embrace that. That is a real key to the next 26 years, is building a closer working relationship with Reynosa. 
building a truly international metro area, an area where we can continue to build on what we have done over the last 26 years, expand on that, and continue to create more jobs, better jobs for our current citizens and the citizens to come and the residents to come in, in McAllen and the surrounding area. Uh, the mayor is, a, is, a, a, is keeps talking about regionalism. Regionalism is extremely important for us. We are not uh, we are not alone down here. We must work together with our, with our neighbors, not only in the metro area, but in the whole Rio Grande Valley. Because when companies come down here, they don't pay, they really don't concern themselves with city limit signs. They really look at where is the best place for us to locate and how can we best take advantage of the opportunity that exists there to make our company more successful. And our goal is to make sure that we also make our community more successful. 26 years ago, we didn't have a community college. There was a decision made by a lot of businesses in uh, many of them in this room. Don King is one that was very instrumental in, in not only leadership of MEDC, but also in leadership in STC. And, uh, and education and building the infrastructure in the area. But all of those things are required for us to be successful with meeting those three mission statements. So we went to the governor at the time, Ann Richards, and said, we want to create a community college, but we want you to give us money for it. And so they've kind of advanced us the money until we could get a bond issue passed and then we brought in this blonde lady, very reserved, kind of shy, Shirley Ree, <laughs> that, uh, that, that became the first president. And she has taken the community college and put it on a, I think, in my opinion, one of the top community colleges in the world. We have a university. Dr. Nelson, we're pleased you're here. Congratulations on your, uh, on your candidacy for the presidency of the new UTRGV. We wish you the best of luck, and, and I know it's not really luck, but we wish you the best and, and success in that. But before you came, we continued to be working with UT, uh, which then was, I guess it was Pan Am, uh, it wasn't UT when we started. Um, and we started working with the university to start focusing on bringing more educational opportunities for our kids and for our citizens here. So we worked with the university. Uh, we went through, we were representatives for the MALDEF on the MALDEF suit against the two big systems in Texas. And one of the things that we requested at that time, there were five of us on that committee, and one of the people was, uh, was uh, Dr. Uh, Romito Caso, and Dr. Caso said, I want a medical school. Probably 20 years later, we're getting a medical school. So a lot of this doesn't come all at once. You don't just say it's going to happen. We have to lay the groundwork for things that are, we're working on for the next 25, 30, 35, 40 years. And that's what really today is all about. It's really about MEDC looking out 30, 40, 50 years and saying what do we need to put in place to achieve the vision that the, that the leadership of the city uh, of McAllen is telling us they want, and the citizens of McAllen are telling us they want. That's why this vision board, it may, you know, it looks like just a, a, a fun thing to come in and sign, but this vision board gives us a snapshot into the vision of all of you in this room on what you want this city to be. Because if we can help 
play our little part in providing a city that you want to live in and what you want it to be, we think others will want to be here also. And that's going to provide us with a growth opportunity to support the companies that we have re successfully recruited to the area, the companies that we are continuing to try to recruit to the area, to provide jobs for all of us here, all of the people that are out there that don't have jobs, and all the kids and the re new residents to come into the future. So today is an exciting day. It's a day of celebration where we celebrate the accomplishments of not MEDC, but of the community. What we have done working together, the city, our organization, the school districts, the university, community college, all of the other institutions out there, all of the other organizations out there that we call on for assistance, those are the ones that we are celebrating today because working together as a unit, we can be proud of what you've accomplished for the last 26 years. And working together as a unit, we will be able to accomplish what we are envisioning for the next 26. And I'm gonna give you just a little snapshot before I introduce my board chairman, uh, uh, Ricky Longoria. Uh, to just talk a little bit more and elaborate a little bit more, but I just want to tell you what we want and what we see for McAllen 26 years from now. We see this city as one of the top three advanced manufacturing centers in the world. In the world. We see it as a place where everyone that wants a job can have a job. Everyone that wants to pursue their interest will have an opportunity to pursue their interest. Where a child will be able to, and I'm gonna steal a little bit here, Dr. Nelson, where a child can be born at one of the local hospitals, go from kindergarten through high school, in our local school district, go to either the community college or the university, preferably both, and get degrees, and then have not just a job, but a lifetime career in McAllen, Texas, where they won't have to leave unless they want to, where they know they will have an opportunity to do whatever they want to do, in McAllen, Texas. And that's our vision. We're not gonna do it alone. We're gonna to continue to be calling on every one of you out there. And we're gonna to continue to ask you for your, your support and your assistance. And I trust that you will always be there because you always have been. And for that, we're eternally grateful. It's also a time of remembrance where we really have to remember those that have assisted MEDC in what they have, uh, what they have been working on for this 26 years. Uh, in our own organization, we've lost four of our original members. Mike Allen, of course, the founding uh, CEO of MEDC, passed before his time. We, we lost uh, Frank Burkhead, who was one of the original members of, of, uh, of, MEDC, of MEDC. Nancy Fryer uh, and Gloria Kinnison. All of, they, all of those members played a part in our organization and they will be forever missed and they'll always be remembered. And I think we always have to remember those before us that have laid the groundwork for where we are at today. We're now beginning to lose that generation that really set the stage 30, 40, 50 years ago that allowed us to be where we are now, that allowed us to build on what we have today. And so 
all of us as stewards of the city, I hope we'll pick up the, the, the mantra and we'll move forward and say we're going to provide the, 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 a strong foundation for the people who take over 50 years from now. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support of MEDC. We're going to continue to call on you um, and ask you for support, ask you for your opinion. We want your vision because this is going to help us formulate where we are going to help direct, do what we can to take the city. And with that, I'd like to introduce my board chair, Ricky Longoria. Thank you. Wow, good morning, everyone. Keith, you made it very difficult to come speak right behind you because I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get back to work. And, and the work that I'm referring to is helping the city grow and be, part, be uh, successful in the future. Again, good morning, everyone. It's truly an honor to be here with you all today as we launch our new vision for the next 25 years. As Keith just described, it's amazing to, to certainly see in my lifetime a city that was, really, that, was rel that was a relatively small city grow into the economic leader in our particular region a city whose economy was initially founded upon agriculture activities in our area, and really the friendship and warmth of our friends in Reynosa and Mexico. And as Keith mentioned, we can never forget all the hard work of the people that came before us. I mean, that is truly why we're here. It's their work that has allowed us to, enjoy, to certainly enjoy the city that we live in today. But today, Certainly, we can talk about the past, but more importantly, we're here to talk about and even celebrate the future. For a city that is driven to a high quality of life, that is certainly second to none, and to promote a thriving business community that embraces everyone who cares to join us. Now, over the years, we've all heard the city described at times as being that city located along the U.S.-Mexico border. But certainly, we have, grown to be, we have grown to be so much bigger than that. People need to know that this city is the front door of both U.S. and Mexico, as well as this entire hemisphere. And for that reason, we are the most strategic area for advanced manufacturing, stud, ma for advanced manufacturing in the world. Again, let me repeat that, because I want everybody to understand this. We are the most strategic area for advanced manufacturing in the entire world. Our unique geographical location makes us the ideal place for businesses to come to our area and grow and expand. And when people recognize that fact, they will come and we will welcome them with open arms so that one day when they get here, they too will be proud to say that we're from McAllen. But no doubt, we will face many, many challenges in the future, no different than those who started this face challenges when they began. And we will continue to meet those challenges, not just by continuing to work harder, but by continuing to work smarter. MEDC will continue to provide input to its educational partners to ensure that the students that are, that are in our schools today have the skills set that employers, manufacturers, and, the, and, and any other businesses that choose to locate it in our area seek. We will, we will also expand our efforts to reach out to manufacturers in other parts of the country and tell them our story about how McAllen is the ideal place to live. As a front door of of two countries. We are a community that certainly offers expanded educational opportunities, a high quality of life, and certainly a safe and a production and a safe and productive environment to establish operations. In achieving our goals, we will, we will focus on certain principles. And these principles will include community involvement and advocacy to ensure that we're headed in the right direction. 
extraordinary customer service, genuine and sincere relationship building with all those that look to join us. And of course, business expansion and relocation assistance. And may I add, and like it was mentioned before, that if we are all to be successful, we're going to have to do this together. We need everyone's help in this process. We need everyone's help in this process. And so when we travel, wherever it may be, we need to share our stories, our success stories about what a great place McAllen is. And we need to be proud of where we're from. And if we are successful in our goals, then this community, as well as our surrounding communities, will reap the benefits of a growing, expanding, and vibrant city. Yes, we have been blessed to have a great history with MEDC and certainly within our city. But the most exciting part is, city, is seeing how this city evolves over the next 25 years and how, MEDC, uh, and how MEDC shapes this city so that our own children will be able to stand up and be proud to call this city home. Now, they say every journey starts with a first step. And certainly, I want to thank you all again for joining us today as MEDC starts its first step on its journey for the next 25 years. Thank you all for joining us today. And I'm now going to call up Adriana Trevino. If she is our marketing director for MEDC. And she is going to go more into the details of how we expect to execute our vision. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. So I'm Adriana Trevino, the Marketing Director for McAllen EDC. Thank you so much for being here. First of all, I'd like to recognize our staff, our hardworking staff who's put in the countless time in making this event what it is today. Michael Parker, our Systems Administrator, kind of throw a little hello to everybody. <laughs> Janie, also. Everybody knows Keith. <laughs> um, we have Adrian Downey in the back. <laughs> Ralph Garcia. <laughs> Joyce Dean. <laughs> That's Susie Flores. <laughs> Patty and Cassandra, the duo back there, signing everybody in. And also Roy Gunthu with the EB-5. Now I think Ricky, Keith, and also the Mayor Darling said it best when we need to share our stories. And I'll share my story. When I first applied for McAllen DC and interviewed with Keith, I asked him, an economic development corporation, I know what y'all do, I know y'all develop the city and y'all work in teams, but first, tell me, what is your story? Why are you here? Why have you stayed here for over 26 years? And his answer simply amazed me. He said, we provide jobs, we influence the community, and it makes me so happy to drive home or drive to work and see all of the developed land. He's like, that's why I'm here, to help people. And I said, you know, this is a great opportunity. This is a good, a good way to get involved and help people. So a few weeks later, we start talking about, talking about marketing. And he said, you know, we have these great success stories. We have a lot of successful people who have left, but we need them here. So I said, how come we haven't heard any of these stories? Where are the stories? I worked in news prior to this. There's a, there's a reason, you know, these stories are not being shared. And he said, yes, that's why I'm bringing you in, because I want you to help build our stories. So I said, okay, let's get together. But first, we need to come up with an identity. We need to have a logo. We need colors. We need to have pride. And that's one thing he mentioned. He said, you know, one thing about the Rio Grande Valley is that, for the most part, we suffer from some kind of inferiority complex where we don't think we're capable of doing it or we feel we have to leave to make things happen. Yet everybody who's not from here comes here and stays here. So I think that's kind of funny. Who's not from the Rio Grande Valley? Who was not born and raised here? Raise your hand. It's a lot of people. And y'all are still here. There's a reason for that. So after much thinking, we started thinking of 
our SWOT analysis. Our, what are our strengths? We have our well-developed young workforce. Our average age is 27 years old, very young. We're one of the fastest growing cities in the nation. And also, we're an international bilingual community. You don't get that everywhere. Also, I have to mention, McAllen ranked second or third for the worst place for singles. So that should say something good, because it's a good place to set a fa or raise a family and set your business here. So you can look on the bright side of that. Now, after that, we decided to look at our website. Our website was piled with lots of copy, lots of room to navigate through. And I said, you know what, we need to refine this. So let's get together with our systems administrator, Godina's Communications, and let's revamp our website, which, by the way, our, our EDC was the first EDC on the World Wide Web. Right, Pete? All right, so that was pretty impressive. And I figured we can use this website for many things. One, for lead generation. We can use keywords and try to conquer Google, which is very hard to do. And we can also share the successes of the community. So we needed to do our testimonials. We needed people to come out and share their story. So we got some camera equipment. And I know a few of you are in here, and I've gotten your story before, which we will show a few of those later on. And we came up with a brand new website. Prior to that, we came up with a new logo. As you can see here, very different from the old logo. And just going into it right here, this M can be whatever you want it to be. It could be, some people say it looks like a seagull. Some people say it looks like a phoenix. Well, we think it's an M, an M flying towards the future. But it has a lot more than that, a lot more meaning. As you can see on the left side, or on the right side, my right, you have the dark teal. To us, that represents the United States. The middle part is the river. The left side will be Mexico. So this is us creating that flying M, moving towards the future, working together like we have been the past 26, 27 years. As far as our brand promise, connecting everything made in McAllen, that's basically what we do. We connect the companies to different sites. We connect those companies to different schools, to homes, to realtors, to other businesses, to other suppliers. That's in a nutshell what McAllen EDC does and has been. I already mentioned that about our website. Now, another thing I wanted to mention was that I don't feel as if we're as involved as we could be. I think we should take pride in what we do, what we're building. We are the future. So we decided to come up with some advocacy programs. And the first step to doing that would be to join our mailing list, which if you haven't signed in, you want to do so. Patty and Cassandra will be taking care of that in the back. And also, we want you to become part of our team. A lot of you travel. A lot of you go on vacations, cruises, you're on airplanes, and I'm sure people ask, where are you from? You say McAllen, Texas, either one, they don't know where that is, or two, they associate it with border violence, which is, of course, every area will have their violence, but at the same time, you know, we have a great city, a great opportunity for other people, and aside from that, all the other big metro areas have their pockets of violence. We're no different then Detroit, then New York, then all those other places, except we have a darn show called Border Wars, which highlights us, which is not good. So our job is to beat that, to counter that, and to take pride in our community and say, yes, I'm from McAllen, Texas, and this is why you should be here. But we understand you're busy, you have jobs, you have families. The only way you'll be able to do that is if you're educated. So we're coming up with a program called Econ, engaging connections, opportunities, and networks that will educate you on economic development, why McAllen is what McAllen is, why you should be here, why you should be proud to be here, how does the maquila daughter work, how do the plant managers function day to day. You'll learn about all this different type of development. That way you can properly advocate when you travel. So that's part of you, part of us getting you involved with the Economic Development Corporation, and we can only hope that you're as excited and as proud as we are. Now, before I have Brian come up and join me, I want to showcase our new website, Michael. Michael and I worked many, many hours on this website, 
and we're going towards a new clean feel using lots of white space. So obviously, as you can see there, our website address is mccallanedc.org, and here you can find information, you can find the different success stories, you can find different reasons why it's valued, why this is a valued place to be. You'll find news there. If you want to know what's going on, you'll find our different press releases. But the most exciting part will be the success portion, if you want to click that, and the media. That's where you'll be able to find all of our videos, newsletters, and all that kind of stuff. That way you can stay up to date with what's going on. Now, we were talking about videos earlier, and I think before we, we refer to our vision board, I'd like to play one video that I put together talking about the city of McAllen and our different leaders who are very proud to be here. As McAllen has grown, for instance, our leaders, they had foresight. And because of their foresight, we are now one of the most thriving cities to live in. There's a lot going on down here. I think we're one of the best kept secrets, I think, out there. Uh, but I, I, I really do believe that McAllen in our immediate area has been very, very conducive to doing business. And, and that's one of the, I think, the factors that has allowed us to be able to get to where we're at today, from the growth side, population side, uh, certainly the retail and business uh, side of it as well. I, I personally feel safe, you know, my family's here, my grandchildren are here. Uh, I've lived here on and off since 1979. Um, I have no problem going out at night, uh, you know, uh, lots of times I leave my doors open at the house. I do have a big dog though, but... Uh, uh, McAllen is what... McAllen is what the future America looks like. We have right now a great place to go to school, a great place to live at great prices. I always say McAllen's um, Houston during the day and Las Vegas at night and Disneyland on weekends because um, we're very pro-business um, as you can see around the trade zone and and our retail trade and those things, um, we're, uh, we're really uh, the center for, for retail and, and uh, maquilador business and, and those kind of things. Um, and then at night, we're kind of the entertainment district. And then on weekends, our parks are full with people, not only from McAllen, but from other locations, so. By 2017, we will bring at least 10,000 new high-skill advanced manufacturing jobs to this region. Um, we're preparing the workforce, companies are interested, it all seems very, very doable. For the purpose of the Maquilas in the first place, which is to save cost and, and centralize, uh, centralize the uh, components with the manufacturing facilities, so it was a natural, in fact it was, it was a necessary uh, move, uh, and, and it was the right move for everybody involved. Uh, as we've uh, as we've grown in the valley, not only with the original customer, which was TRW, we've grown into uh, services for many of the other companies down here. So uh, for EMU, it's turned out to be very good. All right, these are just some of the videos that we're going to be sharing with our prospects, with the community. And if you can help us by sharing your story, we'd appreciate it. If you did something cool, if your son's coming up with some kind of drone, we want to hear about it. We want to promote the valley. We want to take pride in what we've done, what we've built. We don't want them leaving. We don't want to build our students, send them off to Houston. We don't want Houston coming down and taking our talent. We need to stay here and we need to grow here. Brian, let's go ahead and take a look at our vision because we want to know what y'all's vision is. So we're going to be calling you guys out and we're going to make this happen. What's yours? My vision? Yes. Um, I'd like more, more of the media arts here. I'd like to highlight our artists. I'd like to see more communications efforts. Um, I want this to be the next, it might sound big, but I think we can do it. I want this to be the next Hollywood of the US. I do. I think we have the talent, we have the capability. We just need to move forward with it. Oh, and also more um, dog-friendly restaurants for my puppy. Well, if we become the leading advanced manufacturing center in the world, I see McAllen and the entire region connected. My vision is connected communities. Thank you again for being here. Bravo.